Watu, Barada. <laughs> it should have been N I or like N I K and then dot dot dot. <laughs> it should have been that. <laughs> Necktie begins with it's definitely an n-word <laughs> hmm? Going in dry I'm not as much of a fucking raving asshole as chat seems to think I am. <laughs> Definitely an asshole, but I'm not that bad, chat. Hmm. What the hell am I doing wrong? Ah, uh, I probably wait until provoked. Just don't provoke me. There we go. Oh. What? <laughs> there's a learning curve to just like, I mean, streaming is like anything else. There's a learning curve and, you know, you get better at stuff as time goes on. wish more uh, if they're there i would definitely recommend checking out like if you know i mean i don't know how much they listen to me but there there really is so much joy to be had in mario world rom hacks and if you don't and if you've never played them before like there's so much there's so many amazing hacks out there like there's gonna be an adjustment period for sure but if you are a mario maker streamer and you've like never played uh super mario world i would definitely recommend it the hacks there's some amazing mario world rom hacks out there so when I first time catching you was Bed of Calamine. Oh man, we haven't done a Dark Souls one randomizer in a while. You did well on not going all in on Fall Guys and diversifying other stuff. I mean, I never really liked Fall Guys all that much. <laughs> it had its it had its moments, but overall, I, I wouldn't say I was a big Fall Guys fan. So there, that's what you do. Wow, what a sequence. Hey, you know, there's a restaurant manager here. Maybe someday, maybe someday you guys will go to a restaurant and you're going to see mustard chicken on the menu. Hey, you're going to go to a restaurant. You're going to like sit down. Ah, oh, I'm at a five star restaurant. Ah, uh, let's see what's on the menu here. The fuck mustard chicken? What the hell is that? There's some there's some restaurant manager in here right now. He's thinking about adding it to the menu. He's thinking about it. Where fries? They're thinking about it. All right, Diary of a Madman. Yeah, let's check it out. Stars only go up to three. Oh. <laughs> you like this song? Are we going to do the Barbies again this year? I think we will, yeah. You're going to put mustard chicken as a special at your Chinese restaurant?
Oof. Tough. Oi. Yeesh, these platforms, man, they fall so quick. Make it so. I slowed down. You can't slow down. Kind of made me enjoy summer a little bit less. Oh. No thanks, I like my snow. <laughs> Florida is Caled, it kinda is. <laughs> ah! What's that coffee pasta? It's like, I tried to talk to Barra, but he just kept shoving his hand in my face and said, huh, huh, huh? No, you know, these platforms, man, they drop so fast. I, I never, I don't like recognize them immediately. I don't recognize them immediately. No! Oh my god, there's another fucking jump, son of a bitch. No, there's more. God damn it, dude. Is Scorn the new Morbius? It seems like it has like a really vocal fan base for it. And like it, it really like people were really, really interested in it. But visuals aside, the game itself is pretty lacking. Like, just, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not seeing something they are. Oh, man. Okay. The boobas? Orb. I think it was the boobas. It was really only good visually. People adore games for style alone. This is very true. I mean, it had a great style. I just wish that the game, I wish that the game's quality reflected the game's art, you know? Soliloquy of Chaos. Okay, let's check it out. What ROM Mac is this? Uh, the information is on the screen right now. Tough. Man. Put this to read like some nerd. Oh. Uh, okay. They should have just made a movie of the visuals for what they cared about the most. Uh, movies are harder to make than video games, right? Or at least, well, I don't know about harder or easier, but it's an entirely different monster. Whoa! Yeah, I don't know if they are. Well, let's not not harder. That's I misspoke. They're they're different to make from a video game. Very different. Poor choice of words.
<laughs> wow. Yikes. <sighs> Man. Uh, I think maybe hold jump and run off or something. Bet you're glad I don't have to do that again. Uh, yeah, a bit. Yeah, something like that. Okay. TSM. <laughs> Didn't expect that to go the other way. <laughs> Not okay. <sighs> Closer. Doom Eternal is probably one of my favorite games. If I were to name like my favorite games from the past like five years or so, like Doom Eternal would be pretty high up there, dude. Oh, the action of Doom Eternal is like unmatched. Almost had that like first try. Boss, unlock you proceed to fuck your face. Now with like Sekiro as well, like so many times, this is kind of a strange thing in, in Elden Ring. On a lot of bosses, a number of bosses, it feels like the only thing you can do is run away. Like run away, get the hell out of there, get so. move away. I'll give you some examples, right? Rikerd, when Rikerd has his explosion of skulls, all you can do is run. Like you can't dodge the skulls. All you can do is like run away. And it's like for a, you have to run away for like a minute. You literally run away for a minute from, from Riker. Like, and I like the boss. It's a cool boss. You just have to run away. Yeah, I gotta run away. Melania, like, unless you have a great shield or something, like she does her waterfowl, what do you do? You gotta run away. You gotta get away from it. Oh, she's doing her flower men attack. I gotta run away. Oh, here comes even like I like Horaloo. Horaloo's a cool boss, right? Horaloo is doing his ground slamming, slamming the ground explosion. What do you do? I gotta run away. Oh, here comes Elden Beast. What is Elden Beast doing? Oh, Elden Beast is firing lasers at me. Oh, what do I do? I gotta run away and I gotta run after him. Oh, here comes Fire Giant with his flamethrower. I gotta run away again. It's just like Elden Ring, like I Sekiro, when you're playing Sekiro. Like Genichiro. Oh, here comes his super swing. You know what you can fucking do? Cling, clang, cling, clang. Makiri, stomp. You just fucked him up, right? Like, it's it's so satisfying. It keeps you in the fight. It keeps you engaged. Like, you're right there. You're not just like... Like, there's a few... Maybe maybe against, like... The only exception here might be, like... Uh, what, what is it? Uh, Beast of Hatred or Demon of Hatred? That might be the one exception to that rule where sometimes you gotta run away. But most of Sekiro, like, you're in that fight the entire time. And that feels so much better. Like, it, that in... Yeah, the in-your-face, like... Oh, God, it's so good. Oh, okie dokie. Shaolin Temple. Shaolin style. Let's do it. Where barbecue... Oh boy. You have done well to make it this far, but be warned, the grounds of the Shaolin Temple are treacherous, but the heart of Immortan Boo lies in, it, in wait in its final resting place. Uh, still more God of War to come, that's right. Speen. Uh, any chance of a Ghost of Tsushima playthrough? I played Ghost of Tsushima, uh... Oh, this is very, uh... A very Celeste here, huh? I played Ghost of Tsushima sometime last year. Um, I would say it's unlikely I play it again. Uh, anytime soon. Now, I'm certainly- I'm certain I will play it again someday. Oof. 
Oh. Uh, okay, what do I do? I feel like I... Do I go to the bottom or the top here? Okay, I'm not sure. Uh, okay, so I think what I do there is... So do these... The munchers come back and go away, it looks like? Do they come back and go away? Yeah, they like they go away after a while. What makes them what makes them go away? I don't I don't get it actually. <laughs> Not sure. Oh. But dude, I love Ghost of Tsushima. I do we know what the future is for Ghost of Tsushima? Like, do we know what the I heard that something about a movie? Uh are they gonna do a Ghost of Tsushima movie? Are they gonna actually do that? Um Hmm. I'm not even, I'm really not sure how the munchers work. It seems like they appear after I stand on a block. Okay, I guess like that maybe, something like that. But they like disappear too, so I don't really get it. Uh, Mr. Anarchy, thank you for the 18 months. Thank you very much. But yeah, The Hobbit, I, I just recently reread The Hobbit. It's short, it's light. Uh, I, I wouldn't worry too much. Like, it's not like a difficult read. Neither is Lord of the Rings. Not, you know, people who bitch about Fellowship of the Ring being hard to read or like the actual Lord of the Rings books to be hard to read. Like, I don't know what they're bitching about. Yeah, am I crazy or do I not understand these munchers? <laughs> like, I don't, I don't get, I don't get why they appear and disappear. I don't even really remember much about Taipan. I think it's about like, the beginnings of Hong Kong and like a dude living there or something. Uh, I don't really remember much about it. I just remember I liked it a lot. I remember Shogun more. Definitely like Shogun more. I think I land, run through, do a big jump over, and then, because we're doing that to stall, I think. I think I spin, spin through there, spin through, okay? Uh, okay, so land there, and then I don't know what. Yeah. Okay, so just do that, and then... I guess he wants you to do a loop around. I feel like you can just make that jump, though. What? So I need to have... <laughs> so wait, how am I, uh... How am I gonna get the shell back? I don't see how I'm gonna... Did they do a shell jump? Now, eyeballing it, it looks like my shell is going to go above the on-off switch if I do a shell jump. Okay. 
Okay, it looks like it didn't. Okay, fair. Didn't look like it was going to. I didn't know. I didn't know that those are going to turn into death blocks. Okay, so those turn into death blocks there. All right, got you. Fuck. Be also really tempted about the Prince of Nothing books, which I love Prince of Nothing. Just like the Shogun ending was hoping to see what happened to the Englishman. Well, they kind of tell you, don't they? What the fuck am I looking at here? <laughs> what is this trash? Ah, right, there we go. Yikes. Oh, man. Okay, I can't see what's coming up. Ah! Son of a bitch! Isn't Kavoth, like, kind of a ruined hero at the beginning when he narrates, like, the whole thing? So that implies some kind of flaw and, like, downfall, right? He's also a liar telling his own story. Barb never having kids confirmed. <laughs> ah! What? I mean, that's that's not even just in young adult. That's like I wouldn't even really say is is Ender's game considered young adult? Mario Stare. Uh, Odor B, thank you for the 13 months. Thank you very much. Boss defeated. Thank you, Joe. Uh, King Ganondorf, thank you for three months. Thank you, King Ganondorf. Before you is resting place for the sacred heart of Immortan Boo, it holds powers beyond this realm. Yeah, that's 29 exits. <laughs> Heart. Heart. Gonna turn into Hudson Hawk when you claim this. This hack is very appropriate for it does have a kind of a kind of Halloween Halloween aesthetic. Have I read Pillars of the Earth? Uh yes, actually I have read Pillars of the Earth. I was reading Pillars of the Earth when Katie and I like first got together. That's what I was reading. I also read uh the sequel World Without End. I liked uh definitely preferred uh Pillars of the Earth over World Without End though. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good book. I don't remember much about it. I remember Cathedral, Medieval, blah, blah, blah. I remember that, but... All right, so now we can go back here, and now... Dilapidated Yoshi's house. I did not watch... I didn't even know there was a miniseries. <laughs> I didn't even know there was one. Wait. Don't I have everything? It was carved by the hand of the true sculptor. It only answers the prayers of the enlightened. Uh, I thought I had everything. 
Recollect the one in the desert. Okay, I can try that. Hang on. You go elsewhere first. I don't. I'm not sure. I'm not not even enlightened. Maybe you need to wait. I don't think you have to wait, guys. <laughs> the desert had a lot less, a lot fewer levels than the forest did, didn't it? The altar of Lopan. Let's see. Yeah, we may have to play through Sekiro, guys. We may have to. Just to be safe. Oh no. Heart. So now we've gotten the heart from the forest and the desert. Uh, that should be all we need. So now we can be enlightened, right? Now we can go to the Buddha. Okay. Viscera. Maybe I didn't. Uh, maybe last time I got that, I didn't save or something. Maybe. Okay, now let's go back. Now, is that all I needed? Rage reading. There we go. I gave you power. Hang on. I gave you power. Oh, what? Oh no. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Ah. How are the runs going? I beg your pardon. Okay, I think I just shell jump. Okay, I think I just shell jump. He's got the runs. <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, so if you press R, it becomes a disco shell that you can like grab and carry, and then you press R again. Okay, interesting, interesting. Got you. All right, so I need a, I need a big jump, R, and then R again. Okay, man. Yikes. Yikes. I hate that. I hate those ceiling spikes. <laughs> Just let me like, so you, you can't hold jump there. I hate those fucking ceiling spikes, man. <laughs> I wish, I wish it didn't have to be a regrab. So wait, what do I do here? Is this gonna instant kill me or just damage me? Bowser's ethereal realm waits. The first room you must show your motor skills. The final room you must use your L and R along with motor skills. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Classic. Shit. Hmm. 
Okay. Hand pain. Ah, uh, we'll see. Oof, man. Oof. You know, my first one recently had Fire Giant Margit and Melania Radon. I had I had Fire Giant Margit as well. <laughs> you man god damn it what the fuck <laughs> jesus right oh. missed it there it goes make it so skills <laughs> oh i have motor skills uh thank you guys very much i really appreciate that my fucking brain <laughs> My fucking brain. Boy, this is a lot, man. This is a lot. Okay, so that was right, and then I gotta stop the thwomp. It's gonna come back right, and then I gotta spin jump to the right again. I, but but you can only normal jump off the vines. You have to normal jump off the vine, then spin jump again. Wow, this is uh this is intense. kidding right <laughs> you're fucking kidding right oh my god man there's a guy why does he let barb try uh motorcraft smug fug thank you for the resubs thank you very much I mean, closer, a little bit closer. I missed the thing. Okay, from there, it looks like we land. And uh, it looks like we're running and we have to time our LRs there. Oof. 
Oh, that was a cool section. <laughs> that was a pretty cool section. On a stormy night, when the lightning's crashing, the thunder's roaring, and the rain's coming down in sheets thick as lead, Remember what old Mario does when the earth quakes and the poison arrows fall from the sky and the pillars of heaven shake. Yeah, Mario just looks that big old storm in the Thanks. eye and he says... Give me one of the best shots, pal! I can take it! Fourth chamber. Hey, uh, GG. Uh, kind of a strange ending. No boss at the end. A little strange. But, uh, hey, super, super fun hack. Extremely well made. The, mo like, a couple of minor little issues here or there, but just a really, really stellar, well made hack. Well made hack. Uh, awesome job. I would have liked the final boss, even if it was just like another boo or something. I would have liked the final boss. But yeah, really, really cool fight. Re or really cool, really cool hack. I really had a great time. Yeah, that's my list. Thank you very much. Hey, no problem. Yeah, it's a, it's a short video. It's not too long. It gives you a list of all the hacks I recommend. The saga continues. Why is Luigi flashing his sack? <laughs> cool. So we're gonna get some more. We're gonna get another future a future sequel, perhaps. I would be very excited for a future sequel. And this is this was your first ROM hack too, so very impressive for your first ROM hack. Very, very impressive. All right. GG.